looking to improve your click-through rate, then A-B thumbnail testing with TubeBuddy is the best way to put a rocket up its ass. Here we go! Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, your YouTube certified expert. If you are looking to boost your click-through rate and improve your chances of being ranked higher and higher and higher on YouTube, getting the most out of your content, then TubeBuddy's A-B thumbnail testing is the best way to increase that CTR. When you upload a video to YouTube, the most important things are your titles, your thumbnails, and your description. Why? Because your thumbnail is the first thing that everybody sees, and it's the most eye-catching thing. And if it's married to a really compelling title, it will force people to click. Your description summarizes everything, and it gives Google something to nibble on to help the initial rankings. But the behavior of how people click, when they click, and what makes them click, also informs YouTube that this is an interesting thumbnail. This is an interesting video. Why don't I serve this to the next person that search for the same term? Now to optimize your thumbnails, to know that you are doing the best thumbnails you could possibly do, why don't you compare them? Do some A, B thumbnail testing and TubeBuddy can help you with that. Let's go to the computer. So here we are in the YouTube studio dashboard. You're probably used to this by now. What we need to do is a little bit of research before we start doing our A-B thumbnail testing. So, you go down to your channel analytics and then you scoot down to your real-time analytics, which is down here. You've seen this graph no doubt before. It gives you your top performing videos, what they happen to be, what they've got in the last 48 hours and 60 minutes, right? So you click see more. Now, here you will see your best performing videos once again you'll see everything that's given you anything within the last 48 hours the last 60 minutes right those are good those top few i suggest you don't really touch what you're looking for is the middle of the road the ones that are down here now you'll see already that i've attacked a few of them so instead of seeing my face you'll see that i've changed some of the thumbnails these are because these are the ones that i wanted to improve and how do you do this? Well, you have a look through all of these, right? And you're looking for a video that gets, okay, regular traffic, right? But could be better. So I normally go down to here where you're getting about 20 views a day because this is every 48 hours. So 41, 41, 46. You'll see here that I've already started doing best way to share your videos. That's already got a, a thumbnail that isn't my face. And there's one here, how to use dark mode. That one's also not got my face. And down here right at the bottom, you have how to get super chat. Now, these are currently being tested and I'll show you where, but I'm gonna pick on this one, right? Grow with Facebook adverts. Now, it was published in January, so it's you know, eight months old at this point. It's getting a trickle of traffic, so around about 20 a day. Let's see if we can improve the click-through rate on this. So you have a look at its stats. By clicking on this little icon here you'll see it's current up-to-date information you know nearly 2,000 views and about 5.3 thousand minutes but what we are looking at is reach and you'll see here that it's got a current impression click-through rate of 5.2 percent in some cases much higher and in some cases much lower right so I think that that could be improved you're aiming for an average in my case I'd say top end so eight to 10% if you can, or just generally to see if we can beat it overall. So at this point, I know that this is the video that I want to improve. So what I do is I log into my TubeBuddy account. You can get a TubeBuddy account for free at alanspicer.com forward slash TubeBuddy. And to use the AB thumbnail testings, I have a Legends license. You can upgrade it using a discount code of Alan's Buddy. And on the left hand side, you'll see AB tests and manage. Now here, you will see some of the thumbnails that I am testing. Now, what this does is it takes your original thumbnail, the one that you uploaded it with, and compares it against a brand new one. So now that we know that we've got a test case, right? You click create. You'll then be able to pick either from one of your recent ones, or if you copy in the URL that you want to do, it will then search for it. So in this case, it's how to promote YouTube videos with Facebook ads, the one that we was hunting at earlier. 
and then you're choosing between a thumbnail test and a metadata test. So if you're looking to change your tags and your titles, you'd use the metadata. In this case, I'm using the thumbnail test. So I click select and then I choose which type I want to do, whether it's a set amount of days where you have a look at the stats and you have a look at the data and then you choose whether or not you want to use that thumbnail or not. Or you can get it to do it automatically where when it gets to a statistically significant amount, it will automatically switch the thumbnail for you. In other words, once it's determined that it's a guaranteed better thumbnail than the old one, it will switch them out and save it. I tend to use the, the set the number of days because then that way I can see just in case there's any statistical delays on YouTube's part, right? And now you move to continue and upload the new thumbnail. I've already prepped a new thumbnail, so I'm going to upload it now. Now you'll see here two completely different thumbnails. Why have I gone with that style? Pure and simply for testing. Why have I removed my face? Pure and simply for testing. Why have I changed the wording? Pure and simply for testing. Why have I changed the colors? Once again, for testing. Now, just because you test it, doesn't mean you have to use it. You can test it over and over and over and over again. Now, when I'm ready, and I've decided these are the two I want to compare, I click start test. It will then say this will be applied at midnight and then they'll rotate every 24 hours. So yes, start the test. And what this will now do is it gives TubeBuddy the permission to swap out your thumbnails for you. And you'll see here this thumbnail on the left hand side versus the one underneath it in a test. Now I'll show you what I'm doing with the other ones. Now down here, you will see thumbnail variations that have been completed that are in progress. So here, you'll see one that I decided was better off than my previous one. So in this case, you will see that it has been completed and I chose to use the new thumbnail. And it says here that your variation will perform better than your original by 22.49% or 45%. And you'll see here that, that those are the two thumbnails on the left-hand side. And it shows you that over the time that it was tested from August the 3rd to August the 16th, that the variation had a 9.5% click through rate and got a few more views, but better clicks. So you'll see there, they watch them for a little bit longer. You'll see that it collects the daily impressions and the, the difference in colors is the difference in thumbnails. Daily clicks, you'll see the total views, the average view duration, the amount of time watched, it also shows you how often it's seen in search, how often it's suggested in video, and its browse features. So that's a completed one. I'll show you one that's currently in progress. Now here is one that has come to the end of its 14 days, right? And it's asking me, do I want to set the, the variation? It's telling me up here that based on the total number of impressions, there's a 77.3% chance that your variation will perform better than the original. Once again, on the left-hand side, you'll see that it's this thumbnail versus this one. And overall, you can see that it's a slightly higher click-through rate. Once again, I'm moving from 7 to 8%. I always try to aim for 8 to 9%, 8 to 10% if I can, or more on a very more popular one. Overall, it may have less views, but it's had more click-throughs, which is better. So in this case, I will set the video to the variation, and that's what it recommends, because it recommends that it will be about 17% more effective. Once I click update, it will then save that new thumbnail on YouTube, and that will now be the new thumbnail for that video. Now you can see that that one was completed and this one is still in progress. Let's have a look at the upload to IGTV. Now in this case, it's going the opposite way. So it just goes to show that testing them will help you realize the difference between the two. So in this case, it's saying that based on the total number of impressions, we are 90% sure that the original will perform better than the variation. They tend to suggest that it's not statistically significant when they know that it's 95%, then they'll auto switch it for you. But once again, in this case, you'll see that the, the new one performed worse. So original 5%, variation 2%, overall there was like less views and less click throughs. They may have watched longer, but overall you got less views. So in this case, it suggests that you retain the original. Or in my case, what I will do is because it's a 5%, I'll go back, I'll try a different thumbnail, and then I'll get another test up and running. Why? Because the higher the click through rate, the better it is for you. The more views you get, the more YouTube sees, 
that that video and that thumbnail is performing and the higher it will rank in the long term. It may even re-rank that video and give you a new lease of life on that content. And here you go, here's another one. Here's one that I started around about eight days ago. It's not finished doing the full cycles yet, but this is a resoundingly better thumbnail than the previous one. You'll see here it's going from 7% to 12%. TubeBuddy is saying that based on impressions and click, we are 100% sure that the variation will perform better than the original. And they're saying that this is statistically significant. So if I was doing a test that said, till it's statistically significant, it would now have already switched them out for me. You'll see that although I'm getting less views, I'm getting much more clicks, longer view per impression, right, which means they're hovering over the thumbnail for longer. Overall, there's more views and it's being seen in search much better and even browse. Now you can click down here and see engagement, but engagement doesn't have a direct effect on statistics. So you'll see how many likes it's got since the thumbnail, how many subs it's gained since the thumbnail, how many comments it's gained since the thumbnail. And in this case, because it's 100% better, you can stop the test early and choose the variation. It says, are you sure you want to stop the test? Yes, because in my case, it says it's 100% sure that the thumbnail is better, so I'm going to click OK. And once again, the thumbnail has been switched out. So hopefully now you'll be able to set up your own A-B thumbnail tests to see which ones do better, which ones do worse, and switch them out, and improve your click-through rate to rank higher. Now, once again, I suggest for you to use this, you will need a TubeBuddy Legend account. But if you use the discount code Allensbuddy, you get 20% off. And of course, if you use the link in the description down below, it helps out my channel as well as your channel. So I wish you all the best. For more help with TubeBuddy and its wonderful features, I've done a playlist up here. If you wanna learn how to make better YouTube videos, check out this one here. Go out there, start creating.